Yeah, there it is. Leviticus 18, 22. You shall not lie with a male as one lies with a female. It is an abomination. Well, in today's world, with all the transgendered people or cross-dressers and whatnot, it's kind of hard to tell what's a man and a woman nowadays. Hi, my name is James Joyner. This is the Transgender Delusion today. And today we're going to talk about these so-called Christian transgendered people. You know, if you were a Christian and you believed in the Bible as God's word, uh, we seem to have a little bit of an issue here. Let's start off with one thing that a lot of transgender people do not like hearing. We're going to go to Genesis 127. Have your Bibles handy, folks, because there sure is a lot of them today. A lot of uh, verses today, and yes. I'm flipping through my Bible now, finding the verses. All right, here we go. 127, Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. And God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. All right, if you're a Christian who is a transgender, you know full well that there are only two genders, male and female. But let's go a little bit further into this. We're going to hit up some of some other Bible verses that explain exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go into um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, the transgender delusion is just that. It's a delusion, people. You're, you're, you're made the way that God made you, or however you want to look at it. There's no two ways around that. Uh, I, I find it hard to believe that if you were born a man, suddenly later on in life you feel like you should be a female, or the other way around, you were born a woman but you suddenly feel like you need to be a man, which that's been going on for like a really long time. Women thinking that they can, you know, be the same as men when I'm sorry, dears, but that's not the way you were made. Let's go into Psalm chapter 51 verses five through six. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, thou dost desire truth in the innermost being, and in the hidden part thou will make me know wisdom. Right there, God knew you when you were born, before you were born. Before you were even conceived, God knew exactly who you were going to be. So, what right do you have as a Christian to sit there and say, oh, well, I don't like the way God made me, so I'm going to change. Well, isn't that just like a slap in the face to God? Let's go a little bit further into Psalms chapter 139. Yeah, I'm slapping you people with the Bible today. 139, verses 13 through 16. For thou didst form my inward parts, thou didst weave me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are thy works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from thee when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth. Thine eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in thy book they were all written the days that were ordained for me when as yet there was not one of them. Plainly speaking, God knew what you were supposed to be before you were even born, before you were even conceived, and his works are wonderful. There are no flaws in his design. There may be flaws in the human brain because we were given free will, but there is no flaw in the design of who you were born to be. Did you get that? If you were born a man, you're a man. If you were born a woman, you're a woman. What makes you decide that you aren't how God made you is society, is the world, is the devil. Telling you, oh, well, you're not supposed to be that way. Please. 
that's not just that's not how it is and if you're a christian saying otherwise then you obviously haven't read this book you obviously don't believe in god because you believe if you believe as a christian that you need to change your sexuality then you obviously are denying god's creation and therefore denying god himself are we not or are you one of those Christians who like to henpeck the Bible and only take out the verses that apply to your lifestyle? We like to call them Christian opportunists. You're only a Christian when the opportunity presents itself to benefit you. Right? Right. And we're going to go a little bit further. And let's see here. Uh, I think I already passed it. Oh, maybe it'd been better if I bookmarked these. Well, you do. All right, in the book of Jeremiah. Verse 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. Again, more evidence that God knew you before you were born. That God created you the way you are for his purpose. Not for your purpose, for his purpose. People got to get that right. And then the last one I want to... to toss at you is in Corinthians. Corinthians, 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 Corinthians. This has been a while. Do, 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 do. So how are you people today? All right, Corinthians chapter six. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, do, do, do. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. That verse right there, you Christian transgendered people. Your body is a temple to God. What makes you think it's okay to change that? Right? No? You think it's okay? And you haven't read the Bible. And again, you're just a Christian opportunist. Because people, plainly put, as all of these Bible verses state, God made you before you were born. He knew, what you, he knew who you were going to be, and his works are per perfect. It's again, it's the world that is telling you, no, his design is flawed. You're not supposed to be a man. You're not supposed to be a woman. You're supposed to switch genders. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, honestly, I've been a man for 39 years and I have no idea, none whatsoever, what would possibly make a person think, think that they aren't the sex or aren't the gender that God made them. I mean, there has to be an outside source for this because it ain't in here. Somebody out there told you or gave you the idea that you are not how God made you. And I'm sorry that you believe that delusion because that's exactly what this is, folks. It is a delusion. You are deluded. Your brain is, 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 is being controlled by somebody other than you. And it's not good. You need to pray to God and, and try to fight these ideas that the world is giving you because it's not right, people. It's not right at all. But, again, I can only say so much. You either believe me, you believe God, or you don't. This has been Jay Joyner. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. That's where I'm at most of my days, Monday through Sunday. Sunday through, well, yeah, Monday through Sunday, or, yeah, today. Uh, catch me on Twitter at Jimmy Jam Joiner. Jimmy Jam Joiner, actually, yeah. Jimmy Jam Joiner. 
I haven't been on Twitter in a long time, so I really don't remember my name. But just look me up. You'll see my wonderful face. All right, people. You have a good one. Peace, love, God bless.